In this video, we're going to explain how simple it is to install the forklift entryway sanitizing system. This system is designed to aid in the sanitizing of wheels on forklifts prior to entering and exiting critical control areas. The tools you will need to complete this installation are a crescent wrench, pliers, diagonal cutters, and the provided tube cutter. Step 1. Unpack the entire contents of the carton and compare the quantities to ensure proper number of each component have been included. Step 2. Attach the holder to the desired location using the side mount or bottom mount magnets. The attached magnet will hold it securely in place. Attach the pump by setting in the desired location to the left or right side of the operator's seat. Lift the forklift engine or battery cover and ensure that the seat does not hit the one gallon jug holder. Check to make sure the hand pump does not interfere with the jug holder or contact the roll cage when the cover is raised. Reposition if needed. Step 3. Find the position on the body of the vehicle that will allow the nozzle to point to the tire tread with at least a 2-3 to three inch spacing. Fix the nozzles for all three or four tires, depending on the forklift. Turn the forklift tires from lock to lock and make sure they do not contact the nozzles. Reposition if needed. Positions can be adjusted after installation to achieve full coverage of the tire tread. Step 4. Insert a 1 gallon jug of sanitizer into the holder. Attach the 38mm adapter cap to the 1 gallon container. Then, insert the tubing stiffener into one end of the clear tubing and push the tubing into the one gallon adapter. Route the tubing from the one gallon container to the pump location. Allow extra tubing to be able to lift the container out of the holder without having to disconnect tubing. Check to ensure that opening of the engine cover or seat lifting will not interfere with or pinch the tubing. Install the pump inlet check valve by connecting it to the inlet side of the pump using the 3 inch length of tubing. Make sure the black side of the check valve is closest to the pump. Secure the tubing to the pump with the spring clamp provided. Once you have established the correct length, you may cut the tubing from the 1 gallon jug and attach it to the white side of the check valve using another spring clamp. Step 5. Attach the half-inch clear tubing to the branch manifold and secure with the provided spring clamp. Position the branch manifold on the rear of the forklift counterbalance in the center with the attached magnet. Route the half-inch clear tubing from the branch manifold to the pump discharge fitting and trim to the proper length. Slide the spring clamp onto the tubing and install the tubing onto the pump discharge fitting. Follow the same route used for the pump inlet tubing. Position this tubing with one or two of the tubing clamps with magnets to secure the location. Lift the engine inspection cover and or seat. Ensure that the tubing does not get in the way of any items or become pinched. Step 6. Using the provided tubing cutter, Cut a 3 to 4 inch piece of black quarter inch tubing and attach to the outer discharge fitting on the branch manifold. Attach one of the push fit T's to the other side of this 4 inch piece of black tubing. Starting from the rear wheel nozzle location on either side of the forklift, attach one end of the quarter inch tubing and route up the body to the push fit T. Secure the tubing to the body with the tubing magnets and ties. Once you are sure of the route, you may cut the quarter inch tubing allowing for an extra 6 inches or so for nozzle adjustment later. Check to ensure that opening of the engine cover or seat lifting will not interfere with or pinch the tubing. Repeat this procedure on the other side checking for proper placement and secure with the tubing magnets and ties. Cut the tubing to the proper length and insert it into the remaining connection on the push fit T. Step 7. Using the black quarter inch tubing, attach one end to the remaining branch manifold fitting. Using the magnets, route the tubing from the branch manifold along the desired route to the front of the forklift body, just behind the mast. In this video, we have chosen to follow the forklift roll cage to bring our tubing to the front of the forklift. 
Secure the tubing on the route with the tubing magnets and ties. Cut the tubing with the provided cutter. Attach the tubing to the push fit tee and install a tubing magnet close to this location to hold the tee in position. Attach the quarter inch black tubing to the portion of the tee facing down and route to the nozzle installed at the tire. Determine the proper length needed to cut the tubing and install into the push fit fitting on the nozzle assembly. Install one end of the remaining quarter inch black tubing to the other side of the push fit tee and route to the other side of the forklift and secure with magnets and ties. Determine the proper length of tubing to reach the nozzle assembly on the other side. Cut the tubing and install into the push fit nozzle assembly. Step 8. Once the system installation has been completed, lift the battery or engine cover and ensure that all lines and components are properly installed and secured. Notice that the one gallon holder can be moved to the side of the roll cage if needed when lifting the engine or battery cover. Don't forget to put it back in the proper location after lowering the cover. Step 9. The system is now ready for priming and use. Gently and firmly push down on the pump completely. Release and repeat, allowing the pump handle to return fully to the top each time. The clear lines will fill with sanitizer as you are pumping. Once the system has been primed, you will feel a slight back pressure when you depress the pump handle. When the spray nozzles are achieving a fan spray, the prime has been completed. Step 10. Position the nozzles for full coverage. Adjust the swivels and nozzle angles to achieve a full spray pattern across the surface area of each tire. Relocate the nozzle assemblies if needed. After each assembly has been adjusted, make sure to tighten both the nozzle caps and the swivels to maintain this adjustment. This completes the installation of the forklift entryway sanitizing system. Operation of the system. Operation is very simple. When approaching an entry point where sanitation of the wheels is required, press down firmly and completely on the pump handle one to two times while traveling in a straight line at moderate speed. 